This project has been modified for animation purposes. The system has recognizable flaws it is conceptual and not functional. Many ideas are expressed as hypothetical. Throughout the ancient forests, and heavy shaded areas, it is common to see a variety of ferns soaking up as much light as possible their beautiful foliage have almost perfected their ability to capture light. Inspired by the ferns I decided to design a unique daylight system to provide for the sub-level grow house. Part 1. Daylight Systems Precision reflection of the photons being diffused by the sun and all alternative light sources are diverted into a specialized chamber. In this conceptual design I have placed a modified sphere in an attempt to aid in the direction process. A linear refraction lens and concave surfaces will play a crucial role in the direction phase. The hypothetical idea is to stream as many photons as possible in the same direction resulting in quantum stretching of the entangled subparticles. This will hopefully create results similar to the Venturi effect and increase the amount of light collected. The photons are collected by optic cable and redirected to a set junction point allowing for a uniform distribution of light being discharged in the grow house. Given the need for electrical-based machinery, I carefully positioned solar panels in close proximity to the daylight system's collection cable. I wonder if the density of photons traveling through the cable has an impact on the solar panels. Perhaps the photons may swap the light-emitting energy with more electromagnetic subquantum particles, resulting in a greater volume of light in the grow house and a more productive electrical generation unit. Part 2 the grow house. The geometric concave roof is designed to work in conjunction with the daylight emitting system, providing a uniform lux level. High intensity discharge lamps are also present to add extra light if required. I want to create a broad range of electromagnetic radiation, some of which may be out of the visible spectrum. I believe this will increase the quality of food based on a taste comparison from previous experiments. This whole setup should be fully automated, including cleanup, eliminating any chance for pathogens. Part 3. Automated Harvesting I decided to use a suction method to harvest the fruit. I am not familiar with the vacuum pressure or potential damage to fruit at this stage. I can always modify the machine at a future date. All spherical bearings used for joint rotational purposes are designed with locking mechanisms to reduce the arm falling or folding in on itself. All other mechanical joints are straightforward. Capacitors or rechargeable batteries should be inbuilt and located internally near the communication transmitter. The machine can be programmed to dock and recharge when required. Given the nature and unpredictability of growth, I needed to implement a mechanical arm that has many rotational joints and extension limbs. The upper joint is fixed to a rotational disc, allowing for excellent flexibility. Thank you for your time. I am Grace, a text-to-speech narrator.